this video, I'm going to teach you how to complete the Firebase C Easter egg. Just like any Zombies Easter egg, you can complete this in solo or co-op, and this guide will cover both. If you want to find some players to run this Easter egg with, then feel free to use the comments below. Jumping into things, the first step is going to be activating power and pack a punch, and I also recommend you work on getting the Ray 84, either getting it for free or by getting it from the trials. And if you want to know how to get it for free, I've got a video link in the interactive card appearing now in the description on how to get that weapon for free as well as power and pack a punch. Once you've done that, go back to the village to talk to Ravanov and Dr. Peck will appear on your screen asking you to go see him. You'll find Dr. Peck in mission control here and you'll want to go up and speak to him. Once his speech is over, head back to the village and talk to Ravanov who will give you his ID card. And with that key card, we're going to be using it to open three lockers around the map. The first locker is in the village in equipment storage. You just go up to the locker, use your interact and it will open revealing a canister that you'll want to pick up. Second locker is in the left area from the helipad and it's underground here in engineering. The third locker is in the colonel's office which is just above the juggernaug location military command. Once you've got all three canisters go to the barracks and in the field hospital and go up to this table to start combining compounds. Whilst this is going on you're going to have a lot of hellhounds spawning so just be careful. Once the hellhounds have stopped spawning you can go back up to the chemical mixer to transfer it to the gas dispersal device and then from there you can just pick this item up. From here you want to run to the open lot and then the OPC and right near the dome you'll be able to place all this onto an air conditioner unit and that is this step complete. It's going to be sending a weird serum down into the office that Dr. Peck is in. The following sequence watching what happens with that serum will last for a minute or two. The zombies will ignore you so you can just watch this happen. The speech will end mentioning to go to the data center. Make your way into the data center and to this machine here which is a memory transference station. You'll want to unlock it and you to pick up this new essence trap equipment. This will go in your tactical slot and it works a bit like a C4 but you'll be throwing it down and then using whatever buttons you've got binded to blow it up. Though this works a lot like a pokeball from Pokemon where it'll actually suck a zombie in. The guaranteed way to catch a zombie in this thing is to do it when it's on low health. For this step you want to be focusing on weakening and capturing mimic zombies only. But the catch with this step is you can only use mimics that spawn in certain areas and that will only appear once per round. You'll have to go to these areas once per round to check if a mimic spawn there and weaken it to capture it in this essence trap. The three locations you want to be checking are the village and specifically floor loot that will turn into a mimic in the pex quarters part of the village. Any spawn loot that can spawn between the planning offices, the barracks and the motorpool area near the colonel's office in military command. In my game the first spawn we got was in the village where it appeared as a fake score streak. I weakened it, threw the essence trap down and then double tapped square so it captured it in the essence trap and take it back to the machine in the data center and listen to the audio of this trapped memory to see if it gives off a code and if Weaver gives you a confirmation. You see here Weaver said that was one of the activation codes just need to find the other one. Now I know I only need to go to two other locations to find a randomly spawned mimic. Barracks area and the colonel's office. But remember you need to go to the next round once you've gotten a confirmation that the memory was correct. You get a message saying the memory was useless don't worry you just didn't find the mimic in the correct spot. In my game the next mimic I got that spawned in randomly on round 11 was in the barracks so I captured it and it was another correct memory. And I know that because the memory gave us another activation code. On the next round I was in the sky bridge which is near the colonel's office and the military command and I got a mimic to spawn out of a random grenade. I captured that, took it back to the machine and it was correct. Once you've gotten all three correct memories, the machine will pop out a floppy disk. Take your way to the planning offices and there'll be this machine that will let you insert the floppy disk. Look up towards the OPC and you'll see that there will be a dark ether portal with a PA system mounting up to 100%. Go back to mission control and talk to Dr. Peck and he'll mention you'll need more power to stabilize the portal by finding ethereum crystals. Ivanov will mention an ether meter which will provide you access to which is in the locker right next to Dr. Peck's office. Just go up to it, interact with it and it will drop the ether meter for you to pick up. There's one more part you need before you can start doing this next step and that is a shovel. You can find it in this hut inside of Scorch Defense just sitting there. Very easy and obvious. With that shovel we're going to be digging at three different ether container sites. Each one offering its own unique gameplay challenge and you can do these in any order. We'll start off with this one in Jungle Defense. So you want to go all the way through 
through to the back middle track of jungle defense and you'll see on the screen there'll be a prompt to dig up the ether container and it's going to start a bit of a lockdown bubble similar to onslaught mode where you can't leave this bubble or you'll take damage and you just got to defend yourself from the waves of different zombie enemies that will be coming your way and this bubble will get smaller and smaller to the point where the bubble will disappear and you'll be able to pick up the canister and you'll have completed this first part next dig spot is going to be in the open lot in this corner right here when you dig it's going to give off another container if you walk up to it it's going to disappear and suddenly there's going to be loads of mimic canisters that have spawned everywhere in this spot you've got them outside in the open lot you've got them in engineering you've got them in planning offices and you've even got one outside of the main doors near to the opc now the trick here is you're going to be looking for a canister that contains no black crystal smoke. So you're going to have to go up to each of these and look very carefully to notice the one that doesn't have any black smoke. Correct container will randomize every single game, but this is what it looks like when you found the correct one. As you can see, the crystal has absolutely no black smoke swirling around it. It's completely pure white smoke, which means this is the correct one. You'll want to be looking out for this one. Once you've spotted the container that looks like this one with absolutely no black smoke in it, you'll know it's the right one. Just collect it and it should be correct. If you've got it wrong, it's going to spawn in a load of mimic and other boss zombies and you'll have to go around before you can dig up that container and try guess the correct one again the next area you'll want to dig at is in the barracks and it's going to be in this really cheeky spot next to the medical bay you'll want to dig it up and you'll see the ether container come out the ground but then quickly disappear somewhere and it'll have moved into barracks too and the closer you get to this thing it's going to keep moving around. So what you'll want to do is you're going to need the Ray K84 at this point, either getting it from the box or doing the Easter egg or from the trials. You'll want to activate the Ray K's grenade launcher ability, shoot it at the canister, and then you'll be able to pick it up. Now we have all three Aoife canisters, and you'll want to take them to each of the Aoife reactors that you power up at the start of the game, meaning one in mission control, one in the data center, and one by military command. Once you've done that make your way back to the opc and watch the dark ether portal breach happen as you'll learn dr peck was one step ahead of our plans and what we just did didn't work however there is a backup plan now this seems a little awkward there's a bit of a weird pause in game where nothing really happens for a while but eventually Weaver will start talking to you again. Weaver and Carver mention something about a satellite dish and a beam. So make your way back into the planning offices and this computer will now be interactable, which will allow you to align a satellite. The controls for this are a little weird depending on what platform you're playing on. If you're playing on a controller, you'll control this with the D-pad. But if you are on PC, you will have prompts on screen telling you exactly how to control it. You'll be controlling the small white dot that's on the screen and you'll want to move this dot over the different yellow lights that you can see beaming in the sky. You'll be looking until one of them shows a little box on the top right that shows a question mark. All the other ones show satellites that belong to different countries and they're represented by the flags that you can see on the bottom right of the screen. Moving this little dot on one of these lights will bring up a question mark on the flag instead of a country's flag. And for this particular Easter egg run, the light was on the actual earth, which is a little bit tricky to see if you don't notice it straight away. So when that's on there, press your X button or whatever you're playing on to align the satellite and you'll see the craziness that occurs where the main satellite will move and there's this crazy, crazy surge of energy. But I must warn you, once you do this satellite step, you will be entering the boss fight. So please be ready at this point. Make sure you have all your perks, all your weapons are upgraded fully. And I definitely recommend spending a few rounds making sure everyone in your game has a Ray K84 fully upgraded. It is easily the strongest weapon to use in this map, especially when it comes to this final step. Step. Once you're ready and you've activated a satellite step, once Weaver mentions interact with the OPC, this is when the boss fight is going to commence. You go and interact with the terminal and it's going to start up the ending boss fight and the beginning of the ending cutscene where Samantha is going to come out of the dark ether and you and her crew are going to teleport out into the village where you're going to have this final
final boss fight. The final boss fight is the giant monster called Order, which you normally get on round 30 onwards in the assault waves. It's going to have a very similar amount of health compared to what you'd normally have with that. And again, you want to be focusing all of your fire to the hole in its head pretty much straight away as this boss fight starts, because you are going to have a ton of zombies swarming in very soon, but you have a little bit of window of time to just purely fire into the boss. Now, with this boss fight and the amount of zombies that spawn in, you do have a very limited amount of space to run. So I definitely recommend that you space out and you definitely take full advantage of using the workbench to craft yourself monkey bombs as well as decoys if you need to so you can focus your fire fully on the order boss. There are a ton of mimics and a ton of manglers that spawn as well as normal zombies so just take your time with this and make sure that you don't get swarmed and overrun but once you've taken out the boss and the order's health bar is no more the ending will begin and you will have completed the firebase c easter egg. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did a like rating would be seriously appreciated on your way out as it really helps the YouTube algorithm push this video out to those that want help on the Easter egg. And if you want even more tips and tricks and more Easter egg guys, because there's tons more side Easter eggs in this map, I've got it on the channel right now. But thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. If you love zombie posters, I have an incredible Cold War Zombies poster that's just launched that you can grab via the link in the description. It is a full-on movie-sized poster, double-ended with Park in D-Machina and Samantha Maxis in the dark ether you can have it up whichever way you want it looks fantastic if you want to grab one there is a link in the description along with my cold war zombies perk poster pack that now contains the tombstone perk as well thank you for watching i'll see you soon